The things that make the difference in terms of excitement is finding something that's new, finding something that nobody else actually understands, um, and doing that for the first time. I'm Alan Clark. I'm a professor of cancer biology at Cardiff University, and I work in the School of Biosciences at Cardiff University. We became interested in prostate cancer because of the clear need to develop new therapies. The challenge seems to be that we don't just get one type of tumour. One person with a prostate cancer is not the same as another person with a prostate cancer. That means that we really need to be able, when a patient walks into a clinic, to say they should receive a particular type of therapy. So it's this notion of personalising medicine. And that's the sort of thing that we would like to drive out of the uh, research that we're doing here. My name is Matthew Jeffries. I am a clinician uh, currently doing a PhD in Cardiff University. My initial work has been looking at it in the mouse uh, and we've looked at different genes which have been shown to be implicated in prostate cancer and we've shown that by deleting or knocking these genes out that mice get aggressive prostate cancer. The next step is to see if this is the case in human uh, prostate cancer which will allow us uh, to understand prostate cancer in humans a lot better. If the research goes as we plan, you know, for men with prostate cancer, we can see two potential benefits. One would be that we could identify genes in patients, and then we can predict which men are most likely to need surgery uh, or aggressive treatment. Um, and the second thing is we can identify patients that might benefit from certain types of treatment, new treatments that are out, that can actually attack or target some of these molecular pathways which we're looking at. My name is Valerie Meniel, I'm a postdoc. Um, working with Professor Alan Clark. I would call myself as a basic, basic postdoc in doing lots of lab work in academia. And, and, and obviously, I'm, I'm working with Matthew, which is a doctor and has the experience in the clinic, which is something that I don't have at all. So it opens up some even more doors because we can collaborate and we can interact and ask for feedback and, and opinions. And so that's, that's going to help a lot the science, actually. The science we, we're doing is what we call big science. So where we want to answer a particular question, it's hugely beneficial that there are charities that support particular areas of research. So having a prostate-focused charity is incredibly important in allowing us to develop a theme within the group based around prostate cancer.